Hi everyone, welcome back to the new video of Current Affairs YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the important current affairs questions and answers of the day, 23rd April 2021 for all competitive examinations. Okay, you have two questions at the end of this video. So watch the video till the end and please comment your answer in the comment section given below. We will discuss that and you can download the PDF file of this section in our Telegram group and you can also join our Telegram group for more study materials okay we'll give the link in the description again we can check that and download the pdf okay let's start the section first question what is the rank of india in the global energy transition index 2021 okay the answer for the question is option b 87th okay india ranked 87th in the global energy transition index 2021 okay let's see about this index india has been ranked at the 87th position among 115 countries in the Energy Transition Index 2021. Okay, the report is published by the World Economic Forum, that is WEF, prepared in collaboration with Accenture to track nation on the current performance of their energy system across various aspects. Okay, the top 10 countries in the index are Western and Northern European countries, and they are Sweden is in the first position, followed by Norway and Denmark. Okay, you have to note on that Sweden has topped the Global Energy Transition Index 2021 and is followed by Norway and Denmark. Okay, other countries in the top 10 are Switzerland in fourth pos position, followed by Austria, Finland, the United Kingdom, New Zealand, France, and Iceland. Okay, let's next point. The index benchmarks 115 countries on their current performance of their energy system across three dimensions. Okay, they are economic development and growth, environmental sustainability, and energy security and access indicators. Okay, and their readiness to transition to secure, sustainable, affordable, and inclusive energy systems. Okay, in this first question, you have to note on that India ranked 87th among 115 countries in the global energy transition index 2021 okay that's answer for the question i think it's understood okay let's see next question second question the indo-tibetan board of police that is itbp has established a water sports and adventure institute in which of the following state okay the answer for the question is option d uttarakhand okay let's see about this the Water Sports and Adventure Institute has been established by the Indo-Tibetan Border Police at Tehri Dam in Uttarakhand. Okay, the institute was enacted by the Chief Minister of Uttarakhand, Tirat Singh Rawat, and Sports Minister Kiran Rijiju. The ITBP's Mountaineering and Skiing Institute at Oli will independently run this institution, which will embark training in aero, water, and land-related sports and adventure activities. Okay. Training in kayaking, rowing, canoeing, water skiing, paragliding, parasailing, scuba diving, paddle boating, speed boating, kite surfing, jet skiing, etc. will also be provided at this institute. Okay, you have to note on that the Indo Tibetan Border Police, that is ITBB, has established the Water Sports and Adventure Institute at Uttarakhand. And also note on that Tehri Dam is located in the state of Uttarakhand. Okay, let's see some points about ITBP. The Indo-Tibetan Border Police is India's primary border patrol organization with its border with China's Tibet Autonomous Region and it is one of the five central armed police forces of India raised on 24th October 1962 under the CRPF Act in the wake of Sino-Indian War of 1962 and was founded in in the year 1962 and is headquartered at New Delhi. Okay, that's about the Indo-Tibetan border police. Okay, I think it's understood. If you have any doubts related to any question and its answer, please comment down in the comment section given below. We will discuss that. Okay. Before watching this full video, if you like this video, please click on the like button. Okay, this video like aim is only 100. And if you are not a subscriber of this channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, or send current office. And also in the bell icon for getting new notifications in our YouTube channel. Okay, let's see next question. When is the World Book and Copyright Day observed annually? Okay, the answer for the question is option C, 23rd April. Okay, the World Book and Copyright Day is observed annually on 23rd April. Okay, today is the World Book Day. Okay, let's see about this. The World Book Day is also known as the World Book and Copyright Day. The or International Day of the Book is celebrated by UNESCO on April 23rd every year. Okay, April 20, 23rd 
is a symbolic date for world literacy because on this date in 1616 that surrenders Shakespeare and Inga Gerzilago Gerzilago de la Viga all died okay hence he was selected to pay tribute to the great literature figures and was first celebrated on 23rd april 1995 okay in this question you have to not only about the world book day or the world book and copyright day it is observed annually on 23rd april by unesco okay that's answer for the question okay let's see next question priyanka mohit from which state has scaled the mount annapurna the the 10th highest mountain peak in the world okay the answer for the question is option d maharashtra okay let's see about this Priyanka Mohit from Satara in Western Maharashtra has scaled up scaled the Mount Annapurna the 10th highest mountain peak in the world and he she become the first indian woman climber to achieve this feat okay priyanka has also climbed the world's highest peak mount everest in 2013 mount lodge in 2018 and mount makalu and also mount kilimanjaro in 2016 okay the bengaluru based climber is also the recipient of the maharashtra government shiv chhatrapati state award for adventure sports for 2017 2018 okay you have to note on that the maharashtra's priyanka mohit has become the first indian woman to scale mount annapurna the, the world's 10th highest peak okay okay let's see about the mount annapurna okay the mount annapurna is a massive in the himalayas located in nepal okay that includes one peak over 8000 meters and it is considered to be the one of the toughest mountains to climb okay that's the answer for the question i think it's understood okay let's see next question what is english language day observed annually okay the answer for the question is option c 23rd april okay the english language day is observed annually on 23rd april okay let's see about the english language day The English language day is celebrated by United Nations annually on 23rd April. Okay the day was brought into existence by the UN's Department of Public Information in 2010 to celebrate this language which is one of the six official languages of the nation. Okay also the English language day was chosen to celebrated on April 23rd because the date is observed as a as age of the William Shakespeare's birth and death day. Okay, in this question, you have to note on about the English language day. Okay, it is observed annually on twenty third April by the United Nations. Okay, that's the answer for the question. Okay, let's see next question. Idris Deby Itno has passed away, and here the question is: He was the president of which of the following country? Okay, the answer for the question is option A, Chad. Okay, Idris Deby Itno, who has passed away recently, was the president of Chad. Okay, let's see about this. Chad's president Idris Deby Itno died from wounds sustained in battle after three decades in power. Okay, Idris Deby Itno from 1952 to 52 to 2021 was a Chadian pol politician and military officer who was the president of Chad from 1990 until his death by mil militant forces when commanding troops on the front in 2021. and he was killed in april 2021 while commanding forces fighting on the front against rebels from the front for change and concord in chart fact okay the trans transitional military council led by interim president mohammad idris deby the son of the late president has assumed the control of the government okay you have to note on that the idris deby it no who has passed away recently was the president of chart okay let's see about chart Chad is a landlocked country in North Central Africa. It is bordered by Libya to the north, Sudan to the east, Central African Republic to the south, Cameroon to the southwest, Nigeria to the southwest, and Niger to the west. Okay, Lake Chad, after which the country is named, is the second largest wetland in Africa. Okay, you are not on that. Lake Chad is the second largest wetland in Africa. Okay, the capital of Chad is. Jamena and the currency of Chad is Central African CFA franc. Okay, we can see here the location of Chad in this picture. Okay, that's about Chad. Okay, I think it's understood. Okay, let's see next question. Which of the following countries signed its biggest ever defense procurement deal with Greece? Okay, the answer for the question is option A, Israel. Okay, let's see about this agreement. 
Israel and Greece have signed their biggest ever defense procurement deal. The agreement includes a 1.65 billion US dollar contract for the established and operation of a training center for the Hellenic Air Force by Israeli defense contractor Elbit system over a 22 year period. Okay, the training center will be modeled on Israel's own flight academy and will be occupied with 10 M346 training aircraft produced by the Italy's Leonardo. Okay, you are not on that. The Israel and Greece have signed their biggest ever defense procurement deal. Okay, let's see about Israel. Okay, Israel is a Middle Eastern country on the Mediterranean Sea, it is regarded by Jews, Christians, and Muslims as the Biblical Holy Land. Okay, the Prime Minister of Israel is Benjamin Netanyahu, and the capital of Israel is Jerusalem. And currency of the Israel is Israel Shekel. Okay, that's about Israel. I think it's understood. Okay, let's next question. Where is headquarters of the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation that is APEC located? Okay, the answer for the question is option D, Singapore. Okay, the headquarters of Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation is located at Singapore. Okay, let's see about this. The Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation is an intergovernmental forum for 21 member economies in the Pacific Rim that promotes free trade throughout the Asia Pacific region. Okay, it is headquartered in Singapore. APEC is recognized as one of the highest level multilateral blocks and oldest forum in the Asia Pacific region and exerts a significant global influence. Okay, it was established in the year 1989. Okay, in this question, you are not about the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation. Okay, it is headquartered in Singapore and it was established in the year 1989. Okay, that's about the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation. Okay, I think it's understood. If you have any doubts related to any question and its answer, please comment down in the comment section given below. We will discuss that. Okay, let's see next question. Which country continues to be the world's biggest jailer of press freedom defenders in 2021 as per the World Press Freedom Index? Okay, the answer for the question is option B, China. Okay, let's see about this. Malaysia has witnessed a remarkable fall in press freedom while China which continues to take internet censorship, surveillance and propaganda to unprecedented levels. Okay, is still firmly anchored among the worst countries in the 2021 World Press Freedom Index published by the Paris-based Reporters Without Borders which provides information about the media freedom situation worldwide. Okay, the report blasted China at 177 position, saying it continued to be the world's biggest jailer of press freedom defenders in 2021, as the Chinese authorities have tightened their grip on news and information even more since the emergence of COVID-19. Okay, you are not on that. China continues to be the world's biggest jailer of press freedom defenders in 2021, as per the World Press Freedom Index 2021. And we have already discussed about this index and India's ranking and India ranked at 142nd position and the index is topped by Norway. Okay, if you want to know more about the World Press Freedom Index 2021, you can watch the daily kind of question and answer video of 22nd April 2021 in our YouTube channel. Okay, I will mention that video here and you can also, I will also give the link in the description here and below. You can check that and watch the video. Okay, let's see next question. When was the World Economic Forum established? Okay, the answer for the question is option C, 1971. Okay, the World Economic Forum was established in the year 1971. Okay, let's see about WEF. The World Economic Forum or WEF based in Cologne, Geneva, Canton in Switzerland is an international NGO founded on 24th January 1971. Okay, the WEF's mission is stated as commit, committed to improving the state of world by engaging business political, academic, and other leaders of society to shape global, regional, and industry agendas. Okay, in this question, you are not about the World Economic Forum. Okay, it is headquartered at Genoa in Switzerland, and it was founded on 24th January, 1971. Okay, that's about the World Economic Forum. Okay, I think it's understood. Okay, let's see that. Answer for the questions of last kind of his question answer video of 22nd April, 2021. Okay, let's see the answer for the first question. Which country has topped the World Press Freedom Index 2021? Okay, the answer for the question is option B, Norway. Okay, Norway has topped the World Press Freedom Index 2021. Okay, let's see about this. 
India has been placed at 142nd position among 180 countries in the latest World Press Freedom Index 2021 and India was at 142nd position in 2020 as well. Okay. Norway has retained its top spot for the fifth year running followed by Finland and Denmark at second and third place respectively. Okay. Eritrea is at the bottom of the index at 118th place okay in this question you are not about the world press freedom index 2021 it is topped by norway and it was followed by finland and denmark and eritrea is at the bottom of the index at 118th place and india ranked 142nd position in the world press freedom index 2021 okay that's the answer for the first question i think it's understood okay let's see the answer for the second question when was the Competition Commission of India or CCI established? Okay, the answer for the question is option C, 2003. Okay, let's see about the Competition Commission of India. Competition Commission of India is the competition regulator in India. It is a statutory body of the government of India responsible for enforcing the Competition Act 2002 and promoting competition throughout India and to prevent activities that have an appreciable adverse effect on competition in India. Okay, it was established on 14 October 2003 and became it became fully functional in May 2009 with Danendra Kumar as its first chairman. Okay, the Competition Commission of India is headquartered at New Delhi. Okay, in this question you are not about the Competition Commission of India. Okay, it was established in the year 2003 and it became fully functional in 2009. And it is headquartered at New Delhi. Okay, that's the answer for the second question. I think it's understood. Okay, let's see today's questions for you. Okay, daily we are giving two questions that you can answer. And please comment your answer in the comment section given below. We will discuss that. Okay, let's see the first question for you. What is the headquarters of Agricultural Insurance Company of India Limited located? Okay, the answer for okay, sorry. Okay, the options for you option Nashik, option B, Kolkata, option C, Chennai and the option the new delhi okay i'll repeat the first question what is the headquarters of agriculture insurance company of india limited located okay please comment your answer in the comment section given below we will discuss that and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel okay let's see second question for you recently fumita burman burman has passed away and here the question is he was a former chief minister of which of the following state okay the options for you option is seki Option B, Azam. Option B, Tripura. And the option D, Nagaland. Okay, I will repeat the second question. Recently, Fumidar Burman has passed away. And he was the former chief minister of his state. Okay, please comment your answer in the comment section given below. We will discuss that. Okay, in this video, we are discussing about the important kind of his questions and answers of the day. 23rd April. 2021 okay i think it's understood about the section if you have any doubts related to any question and its answer please comment down in the comment section given below we will discuss that and you can download the pdf file of this section in our telegram group and you can also join our telegram group for more study materials okay i will give the link in the description given below you can check that and download the pdf and if you are not a subscriber of this channel, please don't forget to like, share and, share and subscribe our channel current affairs and also enable the bell icon for getting new notifications in our YouTube channel. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Keep supporting us. See you tomorrow with a new video on current affairs and other study topics. Thank you. Bye-bye.